talking about the uh, future of hockey, love of the game. We've got uh, nine-year-old, right? Hunter yep. Matthews with us. And, and I understand this is Matthews with one T and not two, right? Yeah. So the one with two T's is in the NHL right now, and the one with one is on its way? Yeah. So Hunter, tell me a little bit about playing hockey. What, what makes you love this game? Um, it has fast movement, and it's quick with the pace. So do you have a favorite position? I understand you like to put the goalie Center. pads on. Center? Yeah. Yeah? Do you have a favorite player in the NHL? Mm-hmm. Who's awesome. that? Um, Austin Matthews. Oh, ah, very Ekman. good. That's a good. How about a favorite team? Vegas. Ooh, the Golden Knights. Yeah. You watch the Stanley Cup Finals? Yeah. What did you like about the Stanley Cup Finals? Are they exciting? Yeah. And I understand you got to see the uh, NHL draft as well. It was pretty exciting, yeah. huh? So a few more years, we're going to see uh, Hunter Matthews called maybe? Yeah. Do you have a team that you'd like to go to? Yeah. Which one? Vegas. The Vegas Golden Knights. Well, that's a pretty good choice. Hmm. So, so tell me a little bit about when you started playing. Remember, remember the first time you put skates on? 18 months old. Wow. Did you like and it? I started off, yeah. I started off as a goalie. And, and then, then I, moved your way up? Yeah. When I was five, I was goalie for the Knights, and then I was a player for the Coyotes for two seasons, and then the Bobcats. I understand you just came back players. from a pretty exciting camp, too, in California, yeah, huh? CCM Tell me about that. Camp. You wear it all CCM gear, including helmet skates and everything. You got shoes, shirts, and all hats, and all that stuff. About I'm it. guessing that's where that hat came from, huh? Yeah. Uh, that's pretty nice. Are there a lot of kids there? Yeah. A lot of good ones? What? Were well, there a lot of good skaters? Yeah. Very nice. Tell me also about going to the Behind the Mask goalie camp. I understand you were a shooter again this year. Oh, yeah. How much uh, fun is that? It's fun because you, you shoot on the goalies and you give them shots and you try to help them train. Right. As the goalie coaches teach them too. Did, uh, did you, you play goalie in that camp before or no? Yeah. You have? When I was younger. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Tell me what's best about playing in this league over here that you're playing in right now. Um, it has a lot of faster kids. Right. And the pace is more faster. And I hear the, you're pretty excited about moving up from the half ice stuff to get the full ice sheet, huh? Yeah. Nice. I saw you also got a couple of clips of you taking the face-offs. You like taking face-offs? Yeah. We've been practicing on those. It looked like you had a pretty good move out there. No. No? Just coming naturally then, right? Yeah. Well, Hunter, what do you want to do uh, if you don't play hockey? I understand you've got another passion. Being a fighter pilot. Oh, very nice. And, and you had a chance to see some aircraft? Yeah. How was that? Fun? Yeah. i got gone up to fighter jets. Have you? Yeah. Very nice. And the name on the back of your jersey is not Matthews. What does it say on the back of that jersey? Ghost Rider. Where did that come from? Top Gun. Ah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> So NHL is number one, and if you don't make it in the NHL, you're going to become a fighter pilot, I understand. Yeah. Very good. So let's talk a little bit about school. What's your favorite subject in school? STEM. Really? Mm-hmm. You like it? Yeah. What else do you like to do when you're not on the hockey rink? I understand you play some roller, right? Yeah, roller hockey. Do anything else that you like? Um, no. <laughs> okay. Hunter, I appreciate you taking some time with us today. Go out there and, and continue to get better, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're here with the uh, love of the game off the ice, and I'm sure if you've uh, been anywhere in the Vegas area or anywhere on social media, you know who my next guest is. All you gotta do is look at her hat. Yay. It's Logan, the girl with the hat from Las Vegas, Nevada. So, Logan, welcome to the show. Thank you. So, Logan, tell me a little bit about how you became famous, basically, right? Yeah. So we went to City National Arena for my first practice and after like three or four practices Marc-Andre Fleury said you're the girl in the hat and then since then that's just stuck with me. So, so tell me about the hat. How did that all get started? You just like wearing hats? Yeah I love hats and like they just signed them for me. And we look at that one you've got a lot of signatures. How many players do you have on there do you know? I think I have every player. You got every player on the Vegas Golden Knights from all I last year? I also have a few signatures. Oh, very nice. So 
obviously that's your favorite hat, but do you like that flat bill style? Yeah. So we go through the hockey season, right? Yeah. And have you played hockey before? No. No, you just became a hockey fan, yeah. right? Your dad tells me you got to go to a game. Yeah. Or a few games now probably, right? Yeah. So what was the most fun you had at a hockey game? I like when I liked game five against the Capitals. Even though we didn't win, it was still fun to watch. Right. So so if you played, would you be a goalie or offense, defense? What position would you play? I would be defense because my older sister Mia, she used to play hockey with Zucker from the Minnesota Wild, and she said that defense is the easiest and the funnest position. So if I play, I would want to do defense. Ah. So. You met players, I understand you met some of them driving out in their cars, yeah. right? So who was your favorite player of a whole group of Golden Knights? I don't have a favorite Oh, player. good answer, good answer. That's not going to make anybody mad, is it? Nope. <laughs> you do have another friend, though, and in just a minute we're going to bring him on for you, right? He's kind of become your little cohort, and his mm -hmm. name is what? Bark Andre Ferry. Yeah, and he's a uh, kind of a four-legged friend, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so... What we're going to do, Logan, is take a quick break. We're going to come back and we're going to bring Bark Andre in and you can tell me about some of the things you and Bark have done together, okay? Okay. All right, so we're back with another uh, segment with the hat girl. We have Logan, the girl with the cap. Girl with the hat? Girl with the hat. Ah, let me get it right. Come Logan, in. the girl with the hat, and she's got her best friend, Bark Andre Furry, in with her. So, Logan, tell me a little bit about you and Bark and some of the things that you guys have done in Las Vegas. Uh, we've gone to, like, a whole bunch of things. Like, we've done some things for the form shops. We've <laughs> done a whole bunch of things that, like, he's been over to my house. We just did a whole bunch of things together. You know, one of the things I know that you've done is you've been to the children's hospital a couple of times, haven't you? Yes. What's that like? Is it a lot of fun to help make those kids cheer up a little bit? Yeah, we visited Cy and we saw Cy, so it was fun to see him when he was recovered. We visited Sierra and we saw Sierra when she was <laughs> recovered. And they're just super nice people. <laughs> and then you also got to go to the first day of school, didn't you? Yeah. That was a pretty big deal. Yeah. Were you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> and you had somebody else who'd be there too, didn't you? You had Chance with you as well? So you get a chance to do a lot of different things all because of hockey. Yeah. What do you think of that? Did you think hockey would ever be a big thing in Las Vegas? I didn't even know what hockey was <laughs> until the Knights came. Awesome. And tell me a little bit about your family. You got your mom and your dad. You got a sister too? Yeah. One sister? I have three other ones. Three sisters? Yeah. Wow, you got a big family of girls, don't you? Yeah. And are they all as into hockey as you are, or are you the big hockey fan? I'm the biggest hockey fan, but my three other sisters like hockey. It's just that I'm the biggest fan. <laughs> so t tell me what happens now when you go around Las Vegas. Do people notice you? Do they want to take a picture with you? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool and like people want to take a picture with me because I never thought that that would ever happen and it's just so cool. So do you have anything big planned for this year? Uh, just more hockey, right? Yeah. More hockey and fun stuff? Mm -hmm. So let's wrap things up, Logan. Tell me a little bit about where you go to school and how old you are and all that good stuff. I go to school at Walton Elementary School in Henderson, Nevada. I just turned 10. And, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Logan, I appreciate your time, and thanks for spending a few minutes with us today, okay? You're welcome. Bye. <laughs>